All right, good morning, YouTube. So today I'm actually going to make a quick video on how to return your Huawei watch back to Marshmallow from the Wear Preview. So first thing we're going to do is make sure we go into g.co. We're going to go to download and test. Scroll down, and we are going to download the non-preview image for after testing. So this is what you're going to return to if you find any bugs or if you're done testing applications on the watch. All right, <clears throat> so as you can see, I've gone ahead and downloaded mine. Next, I am going to make sure... Go, cat. All right. I am going to go ahead and make sure ADB is enabled. So settings, developer options. Roll it down. So ADB, I don't know if you can read it and not focusing. Kind of, maybe. All right, well, it's enabled. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that in there and plug it in, but, oh, there we go. <clears throat> Next step, since I've already downloaded the image, it's gonna be in the TGZ file, which my Windows does not have an option to extract, so I'm going to go to 7-zip. I'm in downloads. So there are two versions in here because I've got the N in here. The factory version is M for Marshmallow. So we're going to go ahead and double click. Double click. No, not on the name. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to drag and drop onto the desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and open, shift and, see if I can do this, shift and right click. There we go. Go ahead and open a command window here. ADB devices. So since we're returning back to stock, I'm going to assume you guys already have all the drivers and everything installed, so we're just going to skip over that. So we've got serial number, device connect, it's at ADB. Reboot, boot, loader. It's going to go ahead, reboot your watch into the bootloader mode. Right now, on the very bottom, let's see if I can get it to focus. No, there we go. So on the bottom it says unlocked no, so what we're gonna do is fast boot OEM unlock, enter, and I typed something wrong. Let's try that again. Boot OEM unlock. Fast boot OEM unlock. It'll sit here at a dot 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 page. So what that's telling you is look at your watch. All right, so we've got the same text as before. Short press to select. You're gonna long press to continue. So one, two, three, let go. Oh, see, not long enough. One, two, three, four, let go. All right, so watch rebooted. It's gonna say unlocked, yes. There we go. So <clears throat> next thing we're gonna do is just install the main image. So we're just gonna double click flash all and I'll sit here and it will record the entire time. So first line is gonna say the targeted Download size. It's going to send the bootloader. And your watch will reboot a couple times while it's showing this. So.
cannot get it to stay focused on the text. All right. So sending some of the system images take a little bit of time, so don't worry. I mean, if you're obviously sitting here for more than several minutes, then you might want to consider aborting and retrying. But don't take my word on that. I'm not 100% sure what aborting in the middle of a flash is going to do. But do be patient, because there are a lot of files it needs to flash. So stay tuned because the next video I upload is actually going to be a hands-on view like this for flashing the end preview. That was one of the requests I got is so we could see the phone. And I'm also going to act, go through and show these steps for manually flashing if the flash all script fails. Alright, watch is rebooting. Like I said, it took... It took maybe about two minutes. So press any key to exit. The script closes itself, and as you can see, the watch is booting up right now. Since it's the first boot, it's probably going to take a couple minutes. All right, join me next time when I give this view for flashing the end preview as well as manually running it.